Hello everybody and welcome back. Now we just died. Duke Simon 62 is no more. He died quite young. Why did he die? He died, he died of heart failure. Now we were just beginning to work on our body and in that case unfortunately well that's the end of it. It's not the end of the game though because we do have an heir Vittorio of Grazia and this is as we are playing right now. So let's just have a look what is going to change. Now with Vittorio we do have someone else that is pretty damn good at learning um, plus 18 so we are actually starting almost as high as our father he was with 20 learning and we are much younger and are already on par with that almost um, we do have quite a lot of claims with him so we do have the well Alsace of course obviously but we still of course keep all our well counties and stuff like that um, it's just us now the problem though with him is now so we are starting pretty low now once again with the stewardship as we can see we have low stewardship that means our domain holdings go down some of them some of the counties have gone to other vassals now so my brothers for example um, that means of course we don't have that many counties anymore we're still we still have the two highest titles so that means everything kind of like basically belongs to us the only difference here is now Alsace Alsace is now my nephew he got it because he's got this title there um since we only are a duke you know and we do get one duke title the other duke title though goes to someone with the claim on it and since there cannot be um two titles on the same level we lose one of them so in that case we lost Alsace there but fret not we can take it back we have the claim on it on the duchy and you know he's vastly superior so this is our first thing that we're going to do right away getting back Alsace that's only a small war though um and plus he I don't think nope he doesn't even have an alliance or something like that so this will be easy um the other thing is my giant bishop no my giant bishop is no he's still here he's getting I think 100 years old or something like that my disfigured giant bishop he stays. Um, my steward stays as well. I do now need to assign two new people though. So my half-brother and my vassal. He is, yeah. Actually, Antoni Crivelli. He seems a bit better there for the martial skill. Let's go with him because I really want to continue improving the control of Fürstenberg. And for Chancellor, let's just have a look at that. We do also have my half-brother. Let's go with him for now. Even though he's not really the best on this, in this one. Right, my wife, she's good at stewardship, so let's put her on it there like my previous wife. And let's just have a look at our learning here. Learning tree, we have, oh, the scholar is almost complete. So then we could go with, nah, not the theologian, but the whole body perhaps right away. Uh, let's just see. Either we go with this again, or wait a second. Yeah, stewardship, we might also, I mean, we're not getting that much experience points here, but we could also go with the stewardship. Even though, once again, well, it's not the best. Hmm. We do get the stewardship, and I want it to be honest, because I want to have old more domain taxes and stuff like that. And you know what? I'm going against my instinct here. My instinct tells me that I should be going with it, because I do get some points here right away. But these points are really weak, all of, well, most of them anyway, because I really am not that much into the learning. Let's go with stewardship, even though, you know, it's not where we are getting the most experience points out of it. But I want to have the sewer chip. I want to hold more domains and get more taxes out of it to really focus on um, that. Um, plus, I really love the trees of stewardship. Now, in, in order for the future to continue focusing on stewardship, um, my son here, Simon, I'm educating him now by, well, someone that is actually pretty good with stewardship. So an astute learner. There she is, Duchess Margaret. And as we can see, she is a fortune builder, right? So she's got the education there. And I hope that it's not too late for my son yet. My son is 14, so there's still a bit of learning ahead for him. He's got no learning so far, um, and his wife is a genius. So combining genius with stewardship, that might be a very good trade for the future. I'm hoping on that. Now, that is for the learning and stuff like that. So we are a steward now from now on, and this improves our stewardship skill and our income. Very good. That is only one of the problems that we have right now. The other one is Alsace. Now with Alsace, as we can see, pretty weak. We though have no real alliances at the moment. We have this guy here, Anjou. So that is our only alliance right now. We could call him to war. We do have the prestige for that. Um, and I do have my daughter. She's not married yet. So our first goal with her is getting a decent um, yeah, alliance up there. So we do have Luxembourg. Oh, Luxembourg is pretty strong. Where is Luxembourg? Up here, actually. Hmm. This might be a good thing. Um, we could also have Rob. Rob is a bit further away, though. 
And in that case, Rob is, yeah, also powerful. But actually, actually, let's go with Luxembourg. It's just closer, right? Could we go with that? Oh, we could even go with matrilineal marriage. Oh, there is a trait that comes with that, and that is a bleeder. So severe health penalty. But in that case, you know, it's not really our problem that much because we do have our heir anyway. Um, in that case, fine for now. Now, what we still have, though, is um, we still have the Cisalpine culture. I'm not that happy with it. You know, so I'm not that happy with the Cisalpine culture. The problem with it is that it's taking a lot of time to get the counties together. Um, we could go, we could switch to the Swabian culture if we want to. How could we do that? By moving our capital to a city that is Swabian, right? And Zurich, for example, is Swabian. So we could make um, this one our capital, for example. We would become Swabian then. Um, and in that case, we could switch to that culture. Let's just have a look on the Swabian culture per se. Um, this one, they're currently going for the Casus Belli. The, they are still in the early medieval. Oh, they're actually behind us because we, I think, are we? No, we are early medieval now too, right? So we left the tribal for now. Um, city planning is still intact. That's coming up next. Um, and then we would have the early medieval. So we have the choice. Either we switch to Swabian culture if we move our capital there, or we stay Cisalpine and go for this area here, right? For this, we would need to destroy Savoy, right? So Savoy right now is in that case, um, and of course is part of a pretty powerful kingdom here of Savoy there as well. So difficult decisions where we want to move in the future. I think Swabian is a bit weaker overall, so we could become more easily the head of this culture, right? A Swabian, and once we move into Bavaria, we could then adopt the Bavarian culture, for example. So it's not that difficult to do these things. The only problem that we have right now here is that Count Thomas, my half-brother, is at the moment the holder of Zurich. In that case, I cannot do much about it, right? We are next in line, so murdering him would put us into the position of it. So we could do that, we could try it. We could also disinherit him. But this, I think, will be hmm, disinherited. Um, we gain 10 stress. No, we cannot do that right now anyway. We try. We could try to murder him. This is only our, our only option, really, um, to go with the Swabian culture if we want to. Or, hmm, let's just see, Cisalpine is that as well. Furstenberg. What is Strasbourg? Swes Strasbourg is Swabian as well. If we get this one, we might do it. Huh. Or Grinningen. Now, it's not easy. Well, anyway, let's focus on Alsace for now. This is pretty important. Let's declare war. Oh, wait a second. Let's wait on the alliance first. Oh, and my giant bishop died. No, my giant disfigured bishop died. We got the alliance. Very good. Let's continue claiming the claim. Yeah, we got a weaker bishop now overall. He's not that good at it anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, whatever. In that case, um... We do have the alliance now with Anjou and with Luxembourg. So now we can actually declare war on him quite easily. He's vastly superior, uh, inferior, so there is not even a chance for him to do anything here. Um, I think this is pretty much it, right? Duchy of Alsace is our objective. And let's declare the war. So there we have the war. Let's raise our armies. Um, do I need to call someone else into the war? It would be faster, but we would lose the prestige there. Let's go with our own army for now. I think this is a safe... Uh, well, it's not the safer route, but it's the cheaper route. Paying for war. Wars are expensive. Oh, there we get the first to a event already. Um, raise additional taxes. So we gain the collecting war taxes. Or cut non-essential military expenditures. It's a martial challenge. We would get the efficiently supplied one. Let's go with this. Oh, and we get the undersupplied. Of course, we get the weaker one, even though we had more than 50% on it. Let's just destroy this little army there first. Oh, no, what's going on? We are ill. Send for the physician. Now we don't have a physician. Let's... Because our bishop died, remember? So this guy here... Uh, let's just see my court. Do we have anyone with a bachelor learning there? 9, 9, 60. Indeed, my, my knight. You are now my court physician. 
time for treatment, do more than what is necessary, and yeah, very good. Oh, no, 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 what is going on? We do have a court physician now. This event triggered before it, though. Both of them will fail, and I do not recruit any court physician, but we have one, right? So hopefully that works. Where are you going? Are you actually trying to claim my juror here now? Something that you could never do. There, we defeated it. And we are well again. Very good. And let's go for his capital there right away. We got a few events here. First of all, I think we could... We do have enough piety. We could get money from the Pope, but it's not here at the moment. Mm, I'm not going to call any allies for now. We got a few, too few knights, all right? We need to do that then as well. Let's just go with this for now. This should be fine. So once we got it, the duchy should be ours then. I've proud the documents. Oh no, another claim that we got. We got the claim on Como now, I think. Should we pay this one? Let's pay it. So we have the claim on it on Grinningen. Do we have a claim there? Nope, we don't. Oh, we get another council invitation from King Eustace. Oh, he's in a dwarf as well. Our king is a dwarf of Lotharinga. Pretty big. Um, he invites me to be the steward. That is fine. We do get quite a lot of money out of that. There we got this one. And let's actually go for... Oh, and... My wife is pregnant. She's a fortune builder. How is it with him? He still hasn't learned anything yet. My last chance. Anna has decided that her time in Drew has come. Anna? County of Colmar. The claim on that. Wait a second. We are getting Colmar right now. Give me one year. She's the wife though. No, she's betrothed, right? So another year though and then they can marry. That is something to keep in mind there. <laughs> it's incredible. She wanted to leave. There we got it. Enforce the demands. And there we have the Duchy of Alsace again. So we are the Duke of it. My soldiers can disband. That was very important. We actually got some prisoners here. Oh. This woman here, she is a nobody. 10 coin. I'm happy with that. We can ask a Pope once again for a bit of money. Let's do that. An unexpected visit. With my mindset on relaxing evening, I'm heading for my wife Margaret's chambers with some wine and a deck of cards. Without knocking, I push her door open. Duchess Margaret is seated by her desk, writing furiously. As I clear my throat, she jumps out of her skin. She quickly stuffs a roll of parchment into her pocket and turns towards me with an uneasy look upon her face. What are you hiding? Return later. Alright, 95% chance. As I rummage through her things, Duchess Margaret sleeps like a babe. The sedative I put... What? She is pregnant and we put a sedative in her spiced wines. Sure did the trick. Within minutes, I have found the piece of parchment she hid from me. It is a list of foods and drinks and many familiar names, including that of my favorite troubadour. It seems like Margaret is planning to surprise me with a feast. Alright. And there we get a bit of money and also a bit of money from the Pope. We still have two prisoners that we can ransom. Pretty weak prisoners there, so that is fine. And Oh, the Count of Strasbourg. He's my prisoner? And a mischievous smile is playing on Duchess Margaret's lips. I know I have acted strangely as of late and for that I apologize, but I had good reasons. Margaret gestures me to follow and leads me to the great hall. When she pushes the door open, someone starts playing a jolly tune. Oh my, the decorations, the smell and everyone is here. What a surprise. A feast in my honor. Thank you, Margaret. 150 prestige for that. Oh, this is a high ransom. Let's just have a look at that. She is of Strasbourg. Yes, let's get rid of her. So much money. Simon comes of age. Yes! Very good! And he's got the fortune trait. Fortune builder trait. So he is a steward. So our son is finally a steward. He becomes of age. I think they can marry now. They should be able to marry now. Yes. Let's marry. She has the genius trait. Oh, this is all coming exactly like planned. They are now married. He is a fortune builder. The wife is a genius. So I'm hoping for the best out of this one here. Simon! Don't disappoint me. And there we got a bit of money as well. My son. And we got a new son as well. Roberto. No, that's not a good name. Patrick. Matthew. 
Um, Peter. No. Joseph. Matteo. Uh, Jacob. Jacob was fine. And declare wars. No, not for now. And we could inherit something. Oh, fourth in line for Colmar. For Sundgau. That's not something we want. I really would like to get Strasbourg or Zurich for that. We could try and murder someone for that. What's with him? 43% chance, but we are not in line here, right? Nope, far away from it. So, hmm. In order to adopt the Swabian culture, I would need to move my capital. But in that case, I don't want to move my capital too often. That's quite a thing. Um, plus, we have two of six holdings right now. The thing is, I cannot increase the crown authority because the Cisalpine Cis culture has not the plenary assemblies yet. Doesn't have that, unfortunately. All right, so my culture is pretty weak. We are only going for city planning right now. So then I could create cities, but we don't have the... There it is, plenary assemblies. That I would need. That is very important, right? So we need to be the head of the culture or we just switch the culture. No idea what we should be doing. I think Swabian makes more sense. Because also look at that. We still have some Swabian counties here then as well. Until we move into Bavarian. And in that case. Since I actually do have the goal of getting to Salzburg at some point. Which is Bavarian as well. Adopting that as early as possible might be a good thing. Hmm, difficult, really difficult. We could move our capital to Hohenberg, which is Swabian. It's a very weak county though, Hohenberg. But it's in the center of everything. We could then switch the, count, uh, the culture of Grison back to Swabian and then move our capital once again, right? How many times can we move the capital? That's the that's the big question here. Hmm. Hohenberg. I don't see any other that is pretty that is good though. We don't have Strasbourg, we don't have Zurich there. We cannot go for Zurich. Right, Zurich? I think we are next in line though. If we kill him, we would get Zurich. That would be a, a very good thing. Hmm. We could imprison him. Act of tyranny though. Oh, we tried a murder scheme. Let's try the murder scheme, to be honest. Let's just try it. Um, in that case, what's the worst that can happen, right? My wife is going to join the court intrigue. And my spy master is going to support the scheme. Um, this is 26% chance. We do have the money to support... Oh, oh, his wife wants to murder him as well. She would join into that for 90 gold. Let's do this. And in that case, someone weaker there as well. Oh, wait a second. Let's see. 85% chance. Mm. This one would be possible. Constance. 70 gold. Um, 75 gold. Let's go with her. Constance. Right. Let's afford that. Because it's worth it long term wise. We are at 95% chance now. Which is the highest. Um, so we might actually kill him. If he dies. If he doesn't get a son before that happens, we might get Zurich. And we got our first stewardship perk. Now we need to decide avaricious, architect or administrator. Let's just have a look at the end perks that we have. There's avaricious, gives me plus two stewardship. Architect, I think this is pretty good for if we want to continue building. This gives me building construction time, minus 15, minus 10, minus 15. Or administrator, this gives me diplomacy and stewardship. Actually, I think... I never really went into the stewardship so far, so in that case, I think architect might be the best option that we have because I still want to improve my counties and this looks pretty good here. And collect taxes, plus 25%. Yes, let's go with the architect for now and building construction time minus 5% and of course we're getting better here than as it goes. and. What I, I especially like here is the centralization, so development growth in the realm capital is increased and the levy reinforcement rate is plus 100% and the architect is pretty nice too. So we're going with that. We also gained some 150 prestige because of my spouse's stewardship skills and in Jur we built the small hill fort. Right, so, so I love the administration already. And I think for now we can wait a bit on it. 
We got the son Jacob. Jacob is going to be um, educated by someone with high stewardship skills once again. So we're going really into that. And for that, we just need to look out for the fortune builder trade. <laughs> I think no one has it for now. Oh, my son though could, my, my firstborn could train him then once he's of age because he's a fortune builder. There is one, fortune builder. Hey, actually, it's my son, Simon. Very good. He can train his brother now. That is a very good idea, right? I think so. So, Vittorio, you're pretty good. We got some nice alliances here. We are very good at steward. Oh, we're getting better at stewardship. Uh, we don't have enough holdings, though. We need more holdings that we can directly hold. So, Zurich is, of course, our goal, as we know. <sighs> what else? My... Oh! Ah, quick. Very... Nah. Okay, my son has got a son. Simon. He's also called Simon. But he's not a genius. He's only quick. So that is a good trait, of course. Right? So physical trade, stuff like that. Um, let's just have a look at him. He's actually located in Hamburg. Why is the son of my son located in Hamburg? He's of my house. No idea. Um, the peasants in the county... Oh, and now we get the stewardship events as well that I love. Ecstatic peasantry. The peasants in the county of Grison are in good mood. The harvest is bountiful, the roads are safe, and the village elders are telling nonsensical stories of cows producing honey-laden milk and geese laying golden eggs. Uh, the peasants are praising me for their fortune. We get some money, graciously accept. Intriguing. Send soldiers to collect more gifts. Um, we get even more money, but Grison will lose control or no need they need the supplies more and this will give me development growth in Carison. i think we're going with this yes because 25 coin is really not important the growth is more important all right this is looking really promising so far i love stewardship um we are continuing now um zurich should belong to us soon and then we will adopt the swabian culture um, and this will be the beginning because we have lots of Swabian counties and this will probably push us to the head then at some point of the culture which is far out of our reach for the Cisalpine um, and I really don't want to go south here I want to stay in this area more or less so adopting Swabian makes more sense for now and we'll continue here then stay tuned <laughs> 